Hello everyone and welcome to Tikal's call center training videos. In this video today we're going to go through the agent's real-time page. So I click on the agent's link at the top menu. So this is our agent's real-time page. I can see that in the system I have a total of 29 agents. Out of them 4 are currently logged in and 25 are logged off. Out of the 4 that are logged in I have one free, meaning he's available. He can either receive or make calls. One active in a current call, I can see that it is Alexei. Two at pause, none at force pause, and none at mission. Now, Curious Group is useful, for example, let's say I'm the shift manager of the support group. I don't need to see all these agents. I only, see, I only need to see the agents that belong to my group, the support group. So I could select support. Now you'll see that this list is much shorter. I can only see the, sup the support agent members. Down below I can see the agent exceptions tab. I open it up. This is very useful, uh, for example, to see exceptions. So I could set it up for different department. Each department can have its, its own values. So for example, for the support department, I specify that I want this list to show all agents that, that are currently over 10 minutes in pause. So I can see that alone has been at pause for 17 minutes. I also set up that I want to see all active calls that are, that are over 5 minutes long. So I can see that Alexei is in a call that's already 9 minutes. This is useful, for example, if you have a sales call center and you want to see calls that are over 5 minutes because you think that over 5 minutes are actual sales calls. Down below we'll see the actual list of the agents. On the first column, we can see a small icon representing the current status of the agent. Black for offline, yellow for pause, red for active. We can see that it is currently in a call. The next column is the ID, the agent ID. This is a unique ID given to each agent. Next, we have extend. Extend stands for extension. This is the extension from which this agent is connected to. This could be a local extension or even this agent's mobile phone number. The next is the name, the department to which this agent belongs to, his last, his last status. I can see that Leonard has been last logged in at the 6th of, the, of September 2011 at 4.32. I can see that last update from Alone was that he went to pause. The last update from Alexei that is in a call. This is the total login time for today for this agent. The total pause time since he logged in the total mission time since he logged in and here I can apply different actions to each agent. For example, let's say I have an agent that went home without logging out because he simply forgot. I could log him out from here manually by clicking this icon. Let's say I have an agent that went to smoke a cigarette but forgot to put him on pause. So I could also do that manually. This way the system will know not to deliver calls to this agent because he's currently at pause. Same for mission. On this icon, I could send a, a message to the agent that will pop up on his screen actually on top of all his current active windows. So, for example, if I have a sales a call center, I could set up, good luck everyone, uh, the, there's a new lead, please take it or something. The next is an agent screen capture. I could click this and then I could click the button to show the last save screen. And here you'll see that I actually can see the screen of the agent. This is a very useful feature that could help solve a lot of problems for shift managers. So this basically was the agent's real-time page. This is a very powerful page, very useful. Um, and that's it. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you.